okay, we could both be right, meaning it could be another 10 years before small businesses actually catch up. And what you're saying is at a time when the stock market uh, is very narrow in terms of participation, uh, your argument, which I, I hear, and it may last for longer, I think, that the NVIDIAs, the Googles, the Metas, they may have a huge advantage here, Microsoft, uh, Salesforce, in terms of the rollout and actually monetizing AI for the, for, AI for the near term. So the big question um, for me to you is, how long do you think this concentration can last? And do you think it'll last even longer than I believe? Yes. So I think we're seeing it, evidence of it right now. Uh, the Mag 7, what do they have that other companies don't have? Um, well, Balmer said developers, 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 and I think AI will be data sets, data sets, data sets. Um, so there's the cost of trading a model that is very different from the democratization of mobile, which I would say is one of the most democratized uh, innovations, uh, again, due to the fact that you're basically paying for a programmer's time. If you happen to be a programmer uh, or have a couple of friends that are programmers, you can do it for very little cost. Um, where this just isn't the reality. It's for, it was, you know, chat GPT has said it's about 4 million uh, in product cost, let alone programmers and AI engineers. Um, so we're already starting to see this evidence that something about having large proprietary data sets is what, set, is what sets you apart. Um, and so now we have an issue where if you're a startup uh, or a small company, do you even have the data set in order to train these models, a lot of people have followed Tesla for a long time. What are the chances that Tesla would ever give away the data set that their fleet has created and generated over the last, you know, however many years? They're going to protect that with everything they have, uh, not only because of the costs that it required to, to, to create that data set, uh, but because it's really, um, you know, their secret sauce. Uh, it's Google's secret sauce. They clearly have a lot of money for R&D. Uh, these companies have big CapEx budgets, but it's to me, it comes down to that proprietary data set. Um, and I think we are seeing evidence that big tech will only get bigger. Uh, I think that this is actually good news for public investors. Rarely, uh, I, I would say that rarely have we seen, you know, such a big move from what was already a large market cap NVIDIA. Um, I would look toward that happening more. Um, this is great news for public investors because we've never had the opportunity to get in on these big power moves that these trends can generate to this extent, considering that most of these companies, in my opinion, that will dominate in AI are already public instead of having a mix of public and private that then you wait for that private company to go public, um, you know, insiders cash in, et cetera. So in this case, if you can find those public companies that are going to benefit, of course, um, there's also those who have smaller data sets that will improve their own platforms. Salesforce is a great example. Don't They don't have the data set that Google has, but they have a big enough data set uh, to improve their process through Einstein, uh, you know, help, uh, you know, increase productivity across sales and marketing teams. So we will certainly see those cases too. Um, I don't own Salesforce, but I'm just using them as an example, since most people understand that company well. Uh, you'll certainly see those as well. And that's what I mean about this great opportunity for public investors, is that a lot of these companies with these proprietary data sets are already public. So now you just have to pick the one out of the 70 cybersecurity, or you know, some of those would be private, but you have to pick one out of a couple dozen, or you have to pick one out of you know um, a couple dozen um you know, productivity or um, software platforms or data platforms. Um, and, and that piece is exciting to me. And it's exciting to me that we've had a public company go up 400% off this trend, because usually that was only happening in the private markets at this stage, very nascent. AI just started and the public uh, investors get to participate. It's awesome.